Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at a women's exclusive. This is the Air Jordan 1 High, the nostalgia in the Versi red colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're going to be talking about a woman's exclusive. This is a really, really cool, dope colorway that I'm excited to have in hand. We're going to go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, talk about how I styled them, as well as talk about how they're doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. This is such a beautiful Versi red that they've used throughout the sneaker. You'll see that on the front of the toe box with a nice smooth white leather. As we work our way up to the tongue, one of the unique parts about the tongue is it actually has this nice corduroy material and a very light heather gray. The light heather gray I feel like just kind of adds the sneaker. I'm so glad they added gray to it instead of keeping it white. I think it just kind of gives it this vintage feel. I lace mine up with red laces, but you do have the option as well to lace them up in a nice white colorway. One of the coolest parts of this sneaker as well is it does come with this nicely uh, decorated hanger tag in the chenille pattern. So it kind of feels like a rug. And then we've got Nike Air nicely embroidered in white. Then we've got Nike Air and the swish mark in that nice varsity red colorway. Let's take a look at those details and move along to the side paneling. All right, so working our way to the medial side, we have white leather underlays and over that is this really cool signature swoosh and that chenille material is outlined as well in white. Wrapping around, we have more of that varsity red color scheme and as we make it to the lateral side, we've got the wings in that gray tone and it's also printed out in red and then again, we've got that chenille swoosh mark and underlays of that white leather. All right, so the sneaker has a nice gray insole with Nike Air in black. And then the sneaker is completed with this off-white sail tone for the midsole and a red outsole. Let's take a look at those final details. Now, as far as size and fit goes, again, this was a woman's exclusive. So sorry, fellas, if you didn't make that size range in these, because this is a beautiful color scheme. I go true size in this, so I'm a woman's size nine. I do like to have a little bit of extra wiggle room in my toe region, toe box region, and I do have high arch narrow feet. So do take those things into consideration when you're thinking about sizing. So if you do have flatter, wider feet, this could actually point you in a completely different direction. All right, so now let's jump in to how I style this. So the 
feel really was giving me Letterman's jacket feel, but I just couldn't wear a Letterman's jacket. It is so hot in New York right now. Uh, but for the first look, I definitely had to incorporate some red into this. So I wore this red tank that I have on now with some nice, just distressed denim pants. I think light denim goes quite nicely with this color scheme. And uh, again, just using and implementing different types of shades of red really work well as well. Tell me, do you want me right now? I don't wanna wait to find out. I need you to let me light out tonight. Will you let me till the sun goes down? Will you let me till the stars burn out? For the second look, I wanted to dress this up, so I decided to wear a really nicely ruffled mini dress in red and I feel like this just kind of gave it a more upscale look. And then for the last and final look, I wore a denim jumpsuit that has some cutouts. I think that just denim is kind of like my go-to, light denim specifically with this color scheme. I just think it looks so nice together. know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $170 and they are currently going between below retail. So if you weren't able to grab these, definitely go after these because I think that this is a phenomenal sneaker in hand and the colors are beautiful. But depending on your size, obviously smaller sizes seem to be below retail, but the larger sizes for the guys most likely uh, that weren't able to um, get this in men's sizing, definitely the increase in price point 
point shows that on the resale market because that goes up to 300. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you were new here and joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions you may have down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode. Oh,